So when you are programming timer in the mode 1, you should remember that the timer is a uh, it is a 16 bit counter register it's a 16 bit timer it is a 16 bit timer so whenever you program a 16 bit timer there is a register related to 16 bit so the the delay calculation the count calculation for a 16 bit timer is it there is a set of a calculation so number of machine cycle executed so the the total count or the total uh, the counting event that has been executed by the counter is so the total count equal to so there is a formula that is So let me put it as count equal to so FF 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 minus plus 1. Actually this is nothing but 65,536 minus count. So the total count is given by 65,536 minus count. So what happens when the timer value, this is the, this is the register. So whatever you, we write say count, count is nothing but the timer register. This is actually the timer register value. If the timer register value is 0, let's say, then maximum count will be executed because it takes 65,536 count takes, I mean that much counting will happen in the timer register when the timer register is low. When the timer register value is high, then you get a lower count value. So, that's what like, I can say total machine cycle so this otherwise that the total machine cycle is equal to total mc is equal to 65536 minus count so this becomes the main formula for your 16 bit count so total MC equal to 65,536 minus count. So this is going to be the formula. So using this formula, we are going to calculate the total machine cycle required or maybe count required. So we, depending on that, we will calculate it. So, and one more thing that you need to see here is to understand. So let's say I wanted to have a, a delay calculation for, let's say I want to do a delay. So I need a delay of, let's say one millisecond. So if you want a delay of one millisecond, then you should know to execute a delay of one millisecond, how much machine cycles required. So always the processor will execute the delay in terms of the machine cycle. So by knowing how much machine cycle I need, I can compute the delay. So we know that one machine cycle is equal to 12 clock pulses. One machine cycle equal to 12 clock. That means it is nothing but 12 into 1 over F oscillation. So clock time the clock period okay this is actually 12 clock means 1 over f oscillation so always we have a formula one machine cycle is equal to 12 divided by f oscillation so this is another formula that we need to remember 
this is another formula that you need to know. So one so we need to remember the formula as one oscillation f oscillation so it is nothing but one machine cycle equal to 12 divided by f oscillation so this is a formula so to calculate the machine cycle requirement you have to do this so once you know what is the time for one machine cycle so this is usually for, uh, for example, my F oscillation is 11.0592 megahertz. Say this is my F oscillation. Then time of one machine cycle equal to 12 divided by 11.0592 megahertz, which is equal to 1.085 microsecond. So this is the value. So one machine cycle equal to this time. So calculation is simple. So you need to compute for any delay. So for for any delay, compute the machine cycle. You need to compute the machine cycle for any delay. That's the main thing. So once you compute the machine cycle, then you can compute the counter value for the time. So let's go with the program. So now, okay, we'll start with a new one. So, so I wanted to have a delay of one millisecond. So let's calculate a delay of, so just to want to calculate the delay of one millisecond, I want to calculate. So for calculating delay of one millisecond, use the timer. So what is the total machine cycle? So total machine cycle equal to the things are very simple. So the idea is to compute. So we know that so one machine cycle is nothing but 1.085 microsecond. Then one millisecond is how much? Then the machine cycle is equal to this is 1 millisecond divided by 1.085 microsecond so what is the value of machine cycle now so machine cycle is equal to 1 millisecond divided by 1 point so this is only if if f oscillator remember this is applicable if we are assuming that F oscillation is equal to 11.0592 megahertz. Only then. So this formula is applicable only if F oscillation is 11.0592 megahertz. So this value is 1 divided by something. So 1 divided by 1 into 1.085 microsecond. We come to 921.6. This value is 921.6. So I have this much machine cycle. So approximately I can assume it as 922. That many machine cycle I need to execute. So once if I execute this many machine cycle, then <coughs> now let me use the timer. So I will use the timer now. So once if I use the timer value for this, so what is the timer for? So I know machine cycle. So I need 
922 machine cycle. So I have a formula. So to use timer in mode 1. So the total NC equal to 65,536 minus count. So this is, so what is the total MC? Total MC is this. So this is the total MC. This is the total MC. So 922 equal to 65,536 minus count. So what is the count value? Count value is equal to 65,536 36 minus 922 which is 64,614 so that is in the decimal what is in hexadecimal so check it in the hexadecimal the number 64,000 64,614 is the decimal number Hexadecimal is FC66. So FC66 is hexadecimal. So this is required. So what we are going to load here is so TH1. This will be loaded to TH1 or TH0 TL and this is will be loaded for TL. So let me use TH0 and TL0. So these are the two register values. So any timer program, delay program is asked. First identify what is the delay. Then identify what is the machine cycle, this value, total machine cycle. Then identify total machine cycle. Then calculate the count. So once you do this, your half of the calculation is over. So what I am going to do next is to compute the... So let me compute now. Okay, now we know that FC66 is a value. So I need to write the code for this. So let me write a code. Now the coding is easier, not at all difficult here. So I can do the coding. So by knowing the value, I need to write it as move T mod, comma hash. So I will use timer 0. So that is 0, 1, timer 0 in mode 1. Next I will use move th0, comma hash fc h move tl0, comma hash then set bit tr0 and if no bit tr0 comma wait so wait here till the overflow this will be loading the value so let me have a comment for each of this so even when you are doing program, you if give the comments properly. These are the uh, the required timer register value for one millisecond. So this is to start the timer zero. And here we do wait for timer overflow. So that's it. So this is the delay routine. So this is actually the program. So the comment here is the program 